the most quickest way to get your Mokopi data from your phone into iClone and into UEFN. The first thing we're gonna do is synchronize our trackers with the Mokopi app. Once it's all connected, we're gonna start putting them onto the really awesome wrist strap. My ankle, my wrist, my head, and the hip. That's all you need. Of course, we need the hoverboard and we're gonna start recording. So you can see here, I'm recording directly in the app and I'm gonna kind of simulate what it's like to be on a flying hoverboard. I do all my moves in the most cringing way. I do as much simulation of what it's like to be flying around on a hoverboard, get all that motion data in the Macopia app. The data is recorded as BVH files and those BVH files are stored on your phone in a folder and you can access the folder by just going into the Macopi folder, into motion data and airdrop it to my computer. I can literally drag that BVH file that I took from my phone, drag and drop it on top of my character in iClone. It does its auto rigging and everything and it works. Then I just use the usual workflow that we use to get from iClone into UEFN and we're in UEFN and now I can use sequencer to animate to attach my character onto the hoverboard and create a really cool cinematic sequence.